With 66 days to the mainnet launch of CK Sync 2.0, the smartest thing for anyone to do would be to keep interacting with as many projects as possible in the ZK Sync ecosystem. Some of you already know what that means. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell. And before you go ahead to watch this video, kindly smash the like button. And today we are going to look at another amazing project on the ZK Sync mainnet and testnet. This one is called Tevera or Tevera, whatever you want to call it, it is fine. Tevera is a gamified metaverse platform built for each citizen. Each citizen are called Tevans or Tevans. Once you're able to mint your ID card, automatically you become a citizen of the Tevera platform. And there are rumors of a possible airdrop from Tevera. Tevera is running on both the ZK Sync mainnet and testnet. I'm going to show you what it looks like on both the mainnet and testnet. But our focus will mostly be on the testnet. First, let's take a look at the ZK Sync ecosystem. Once you're on this website, you go to ZK Tools and you will see the ecosystem. Click on it, then scroll down and peruse over all the projects in the ZK Sync ecosystem. Some of them are live and some are still on the testnet. Try as much as possible to interact with some of these projects. I'm not saying you should interact with all, but do as much as you can. Now let's locate Tevera on this ecosystem. Here we have Tevera. You can see it is live and they also have the testnet version. So we click on this to view it on the mainnet. Here is the mainnet version. It looks just exactly the same with the testnet. The only difference here is that if you want to mint your ID on the mainnet, you'll be paying a transaction fee in real money. Guess what? The transaction fee is very cheap, just between 50 cents to one dollar. I'm not sure it's exactly up to one dollar. Once you're a citizen, you're going to get your Tevan citizen ID and you can earn karma points by playing the game. Okay, I would advise that you have the citizen's ID on both mainnet and testnet. I'm going to show you in the testnet how to do that because it's the same process. And now let's move over to the testnet. This is testnet. If you look up here, you will see testnet. There is no difference actually. It looks exactly the same with the mainnet. Now we're going to mint our ID and show you are on the testnet network. It says, are you a member? The answer is no. You can connect from here or you can connect by clicking play game. Initially, you could only sign up with your email address, but now you can do that seamlessly by connecting your Metamax wallet. Click on continue with Ethereum. Your Metamax will pop up and you connect with it. Switch over to Goldie Network. Sign in. You can take out your time to read the terms and conditions. I'll just go ahead and click on accept all. Now we can mint our ID. It says get citizen ID to access the Tevera metaverse. So we'll go ahead to mint our citizen ID. Click on continue to get citizen ID and connect Metamax. Now we're going to switch over to the ZK Sync testnet alpha. Click on switch. You're going to pay a fee of $80. This is in testnet, okay? You don't have to be afraid. So you can pay transaction fees using any of the available tokens in the list below. If you click here, you will see that I have other available tokens. I can decide to use any of them to make this payment. If you have been using the ZK Sync testnet 2.0 for a while, then you should have something like this in your account. I'll continue with the USDC. Click on Mint Citizen ID. That actually went very fast. We have successfully minted our Citizen ID. You can actually give your ID a name while minting it. You will see an option where to type in the name you want to give to your ID. I just did that and I gave my Crypto Prince 100k and I have zero karma points. For me to start earning the karma points, I need to start playing the game. And according to them, once you earn up to 1000 karma points, it is going to be transferred to the mainnet for you. That looks like a reward for hard work. So take us some time and test out this game. Guys, I'm still studying this game. So please don't laugh at me. I'm just going to show you a demo of what it looks like. So on your own, you can study it and begin to play. Now let's play this game a little. Click on play game. Now look at the leaderboard. Someone has already earned 8,971 karma points. That is huge. Look at what others have earned so far. So as soon as you start earning, you will be in this board. Let's play this game. 
click on play now the game is going to upload for us yes our game is successfully loaded it's a tap to start so we'll do just that wow i love what i'm seeing okay. yes good diva guys are you ready for this five <laughs> Avoid the obstacles in your path. Here you can upgrade your abilities. Okay. Wow. Like I said, guys, I'm learning this, so please do not laugh at me. If you want to upgrade our abilities, we simply go to this place. And you see skills. You can add more skills. Anyone you want. You add it up. Look at this, change this from here, change it, change this. So, you want to upgrade, you click on this and it will be upgraded. So, 500, uh, I don't know, I think this is 500 points to make an upgrade. Uh, I really don't know. I am definitely going to find out. Okay, so I'm not doing any upgrade at the moment. We just go back to this place and start our game this dead so you're going to fight and ensure that you win once you finish the first level the second level is going to unlock for you the same with the third the fourth and the so let's start with the first level i'm not going to play everything i click on this and it says play it's loading okay here we are you say find the bell and hit it hard okay that is our task to find the bed and hit it hard so this is me in the metaverse and if you're using a laptop to play this game i think there are buttons you need to get conversant with like uh, d is for forward and a is for backwards y w is to jump up x is to slow down and z is to give more power or something like that i don't know um yeah i think so okay so we just find out let's go and look for the bed and see what happens we have some stuff here this looks like weapons i really don't know <laughs> okay please if you know how this exactly works kindly let me know in our telegram group all right let's find the bed um i'll push d to go forward so like this now i'm pressing the d button and we are moving forward to go and find the bed you can double jump, press space, or jump arrow. The jump arrow is actually W, and you see I can press space also. Okay, I can use space as well. Oh, I see. Okay, I can also use W. Okay, so let's keep going. We are looking for the bell, and we need to jump over this. Let's jump. Whoa. Oh. I'm actually playing this. Uh, okay. Wow. Guys, don't laugh at me, okay? <laughs> wow, wow. okay yeah i did it <laughs> let's go okay we need to jump we need to jump here too uh-huh i'm doing it guys okay let's jump down uh-huh let's go wow you need to avoid all these dangers okay Woo! <laughs> okay so guys this is how you play this game as you make progress you're going to earn some karma points for yourself i'm already loving this game i'm going to take out some time and practice it play it more often and prepare for the main net all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i trust you like it so remember to smash the like button subscribe if you haven't and turn on the notification bell and remember to share this video everywhere thank you so much i'm going to see you in my next one we are going to make it back.